One of the men accused in the kidnapping and murder of six-year-old Kingston Frazier pleads guilty. Today, D. Allen Washington pled guilty to one of the three charges he was facing in the Kingston Frazier case, pleading guilty to accessory after the fact of kidnapping. Uh, we believe with his cooperation that that will help us uh, cement the case against Mr. McBride and we will be able to at this point go forward and seek the death penalty. And as Washington is to only be sentenced for 15 years, his attorney tells us that there are no winners in this case. This was a very senseless, a very heinous, needless murder of a six-year-old. There are no winners in this case at all. Uh, the Kingston family has lost forever a six-year-old who could have gone on to do wonderful things in life. Martin says there is no justification at all for the end result, but in cases like this, you're forced to look at each person's involvement. No words to express the amount of grief and amount of suffering that the Frazier family has gone through. Uh, my client, his mother, his family has asked me to express their deepest and serious, sincerest condolences and expressions of grief as it relates to the passing of this, this child. Martin says his client is only guilty of picking up and driving Byron McBride from Madison County after the kidnapping of Frazier. He says it wasn't until McBride got in the car with Dewan Wakefield in Washington that the two learned of the six-year-old's brutal murder through pictures that McBride took on his phone. It's a story of Mr. Wakefield driving a vehicle visibly sobbing and in tears and my client and Mr. McBride engage in a verbal altercation as it relates to why Mr. McBride would do this to a child. Washington also pled guilty to one count of robbery in another unrelated case. Reporting in Jackson, Taj Anthony, WJTV 12.